All right. We are off grid. And we are limiting power to the batteries because they're fully charged. This reads a little low because of losses in the three out cables. The actual battery voltage is there. These read high again because of the cabling between here and where it connects into the batteries is uh, let's see half a volt difference no one third of a volt difference anyways we are using oh we just dropped we're only using 9.2 amps now so this is going to drop now we'll be putting less so the one controller dropped down to 12 this one dropped to 24 amps going into the batteries uh, if something turns on in the house, this one will go to about 45. This one will go to about 35 or something like that. I have it. I have my uh, panel that I'm about to show you. It's just rigged up into the system uh, slockly just, just to get some extra power like usual. I don't like wasting power. Got it out here in the sun. Oh, it's a very sunny day. Great day for power. Cleaning up the garage. I don't know if you can see this. I have a lot of stuff. So I'm getting these shelving units here and there. and Just cleaning up. Sorted out my tools. From that big job I did on the Jeep. Putting the new engine in it. Anyways. Yeah. Days like today. If every day was like today. I could run off solar all the time. No problem. And as we get closer to summer, I'm putting out a lot more power. I can, like, they ran the central vac, which takes, the, whenever they run the central vac, my amps from the batteries jumps up to 139 amps. They ran that for a good 15 minutes. They ran the Keurig, which takes about, I don't know, three minutes. It's 150, uh, 1500 watts, I mean. And my system just bounces right back up to fully charged right after. Uh, which is great. Bring off the Antrax SW3000. I had this hooked up for a little bit here. One thing I did learn about this, I was saying how great it was and uh, and how it can uh, run so much more than it's rated for, which is, it can. This thing's amazing for that. But I did re realize that uh, I had it hooked up and when something kicked in hard I had like 3,000 watts coming through over 200 amps going out um, the voltage reading on this dropped down to 12 volts it was probably more like 12 and a half volts here because of such the, the sudden drop of voltage it actually kicked this out into overcurrent because I guess it, it, uh, it for a second it drew uh, more than uh, what it would usually draw to charge a battery um, because of that surge so it kicked it out so I'm gonna have to see if it does that when the panels flat but uh, when the panel is sitting like that the way it is directly at the Sun surges down from 14.8 uh, uh, volts down to 12.5 instantly like that will kick it uh, shuts it down pretty much but it has a great uh, Safety feature. All it does is it disconnects itself and done. I just uh, reset it, hook it back up, and it works again. I think I'm going to do some cable management either today or sometime this week. This isn't normally here. This is part of the temporary setup. I'm going to be disconnecting it in, uh, I don't know, about an hour or something like that. But uh, these dangling wires here, they are not good. I'm going to fasten this up better the way it should be. Uh, do some kale management and I'm going to be replacing these with four gauge cable and these with four gauge cable that come out of the charge controller because they are not quite adequate for the amperage I'm pushing it's not like they're going to melt or anything but there's too much losses in the lines for me and I just want to do a quick update of, uh, what I like to do with my spare time, I am a big nerd for batteries, inverters, and solar panels. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you like my videos. One thing I recently noticed, that I'm going to share with you guys about these charge controllers. 
I love them for the price. I don't think you can go wrong with them. Get them for about 200 bucks each. But uh, one thing I noticed, at least when you're running high amperage to them, I don't know if, if this problem only uh, happens uh, with high amperage, but when a load kicks on on my inverter, the voltage goes down from 14.5 volts down to uh, 12 and a half volts similar to what happened to this one but this one kicks out for good because it's way over Th this one doesn't do it this one actually has uh, about 45 amps running through it and this one only has uh, about 38 but this one completely drops out completely like uh, it just shuts right down and uh, it goes through its booting cycle and then turns back on so I lose power for about 30 seconds it's turned back on, it's this one here. It's turned back on since then. But, uh, yeah, that's the one thing I noticed. I'd share just in case uh, someone else uh, uh, notices it or is wondering if there's something wrong with it. Uh, it seems to work fine, it's just uh, what it does. So I've reverted back to grid tie. I have both my charge controllers off. I have this one on on the 255 watt panel. Just doing another stress test. Holding the voltage at 14.4. And I thought I'd do uh I just had to recrimp this. It was getting really hot. Just to show that I have been doing this test for quite a while now. Let's see if I can show how hot warm this is in here. It is not minus. There's smoke coming off of it. You guys see the smoke? This thing is full of shit. <laughs> there you go. Now you can see it. 21 Celsius. Let's go Fahrenheit here. Somewhere in there, it's really hot, anyways. Oh, yeah. Let's do a, a reading on the aluminum back plate here. What are we up to? Anything here? Nothing. Still cold. Minus seven. These ones were running for about three hours. This one had 45 amps when I started on it, and it got up. It's down to 3 Celsius now, but it got up to 6 Celsius, and the other one got up to 3 Celsius. So, they will get warm in the summer. If they do, I'm putting a computer fan right here, right here, going down, or actually probably going from the bottom up to get the, the natural movement of heat out on both of them. <sighs> Doing a lot of videos on these MPPTs, just because that's what I've been uh, playing around with right recently. I only do this test when I'm out here because this is not okay. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching.